Good afternoon, First Lutheran and Philippus Faith Communities. Uh, Pastoral intern Tyler and Pastor Brian here with you today for midweek prayer. We got a, a bit of a double feature, uh, <laughs> double feature today. Uh, so we're so thankful for you for joining with us. Um, we are one week into the season of Lent. Uh, last week we celebrated uh, Ash Wednesday in the park, and so. Uh, we've got about six weeks of this season and uh, just a couple things to, to bring your attention to as things are really busy with First Lutheran. First and foremost, uh, next Tuesday at uh, 6 p.m. in front of the Hamilton County Courthouse, we're going to be having a special prayer vigil for uh, First Lutheran. Uh, with everything that's going on right now, prayers for our community and its survival are of the utmost importance. Um, we would love to see you there and support. Uh, if you do show up, if you do show up, please wear black. Um, we're all going to be wearing black, and uh, there will be some music, some time for prayer, uh, and silent reflection as well. So there will be more information to come out about that soon. But uh, keep it on your calendars. Uh, Tuesday, March fifteenth, I believe, is what it is uh, at six. PM. And with that, I'll give that over to Pastor Brian. Thank you, uh, Tyler. And uh, uh, it's great to have uh, this guy's organizational skills for ministry opportunities uh, as, as we continue to be in ministry during these times. Uh, another shift of focus, too, is in the area of Ukraine. I just saw in the news, uh, our mayor was on the news channel. Uh, I guess Cincinnati has offered extended uh, invitation for refugees to come be relocated to Cincinnati from Ukraine. Uh, of course, we uh, are mindful of that. Uh, it's on the news. It's pervasive. And uh, so our prayers will be lifted up here in a moment about that. But on March 27th, uh, we will be having a special focus day in worship on that Sunday. And uh, we'll collect a special offering that day uh, for uh, support for uh, Ukrainian uh the Ukrainian situation, uh, but we'll we'll run it. We'll make the gift here locally. Uh, we have a sister city, a companion city relationship uh, in Ukraine with Cincinnati, and so uh, that's where the donations will go. In the past, we've supported Lutheran Immigration Refugee Services as well as Philippus UCC has uh, their denominational refugee uh, partner as well. Those are also great ways to give. But we thought together we could uh, make a difference here just locally uh, uh, and with that support. So March 27th. Uh, be mindful of that, uh, extra prayers, and uh, uh, focus and worship on that. So back to Tyler. All right, and one other thing. Tonight at 7 p.m., we're kicking off our March Lenten Bible study with uh, suffering and God's presence in the midst of it. And this week we're going to be talking about the Exodus narrative. Um, you might be familiar with the story. You might not be familiar with the story, but it recounts uh, the story of Israel being liberated from slavery in Egypt and brought through the desert, uh, being formed as a community to worship God. And this, is, this gives us a really good uh, narrative to talk about what it means to experience liberation, what it means to be formed in a community, uh, and how we might apply that to our own lives today, how we might see God in the midst of our suffering as a libera liberating God, as a leading God, and as a forming God. Uh, so I hope to see you there tonight. It is on Zoom, so you can find that on Facebook uh, or in the, uh, in the email that's going to be coming out after this, um, uh, after this midweek prayer. Um, and with that, I guess we can go ahead and go to God in prayer. Okay. All right. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for all of the gifts that you have given us. We thank you for this season, a season of uh, repentance, a season of turning, a season of reconciliation. As we experience uh, some hard times and some joyful times, uh, keep us ever, ever mindful of you, keep us mindful of our neighbors, help us to seek ways in which we can be reconciled to one another, in which we can love one another. We ask that you be with us on our Lenten journeys uh, as we make commitments in, or, or choose not to make commitments this year uh, in order to, to practice uh, our own spirituality, in order to uh, come to experience you better. Be with all those who are suffering, be with all those who feel lonely, be with all those who are sick. Uh, we ask this in your name. And gracious God, we give you thanks for the sounds of creation around us. Creation that represents uh, the birds of the air and uh, animals, uh, but also of humanity. Uh, you created us uh, from the earth, 
as we reminded uh, last Ask Wednesday with, with the words, you are dust and to dust you shall return, uh, the truck that I can hear on the interstate being driven, uh, carrying goods somewhere, a vocation, uh, someone providing supplies uh, needed for food or medical or uh, clothing, whatever that might be. Uh, we give you thanks for the birds who at this time of the year are uh, coming out of their winter hibernation and uh, uh, laying eggs and uh, looking for uh, the new birds uh, to come into creation uh, to fill the sounds of summer. Uh, may we be mindful of uh, all that surrounds us uh, as we go about our days and we give you thanks for placing us here uh, to be stewards of all this. Good and gracious God, for all of these requests that we have, for the requests that only you know, for those who are uh, the refugees both in Ukraine and throughout the world, uh, for all of those, uh, we ask that you be with them in this time of need, in this time of, uh, in this time of suffering, this time of, uh, of pain. We ask that you be with world leaders and community leaders, that they work to uh, establish justice, that they work to uh, lift up the people who are lonely and lowly and oppressed. Uh, we ask that you take those who might be tyrants and uh, to, to mitigate their power, to bring down the ways in which uh, ju injustice is, is formed in our societies. We pray, Almighty God, for those who are in need of healing, those who suffer, those who grieve, those who mourn, uh, those experiencing despair, depression. We uh, lift up uh, Bernie Bell. I continue to be with her and Charlie. Uh, we pray for Mom Pat uh, on her hospice journey. We pray for Sandy. Uh, we lift up Jess uh, as she recovers from a fall. Uh, we each of us know in our lives and relationships uh, someone who is in need of prayer uh, as we lift up each week in worship. Uh, there are too many to name, uh, but we know that you hear our prayers and we take this moment of silence to uh, reflect on them and, and name, name them to God. Renew and restore and make your compassionate uh, presence known to all who are in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we pray for our church community right now. Uh, we pray for our building. We pray, uh, we give you thanks for the years of ministry that it's held. Uh, and we ask that you continue to guide it and lead it so that it may continue to fulfill uh, ministry in the coming years. We pray for all of our congregants that, uh, that worship with us so that have experienced the hospitality of first. We pray for those whom we disagree with. Um, we pray with those uh, who, who don't share the same opinions that we do. We ask that you, you send your spirit in the middle of this, uh, that we might be able to find a resolution, that we might be able to find a way in which we can continue to serve and relationships can remain intact within our community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Almighty God, we give you thanks for faith communities, uh, as we know Philippus and First are journeying together, uh, but beyond that, uh, there are many such faith communities not here in Cincinnati and across the world uh, who provide places for people to come together uh, to offer prayers, to be consoled, to uh, provide comfort, uh, and to sing praises, uh, to celebrate life as we journey together. Uh, strengthen all places of worship, uh, faith communities, uh, who are about the good work of giving you thanks and praise uh, and proclaiming words of grace, mercy, and forgiveness. Uh, watch over us and keep us as pastoral leaders in this good work and all who serve the church. Uh, all these prayers, gracious God, we offer in your Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. And uh, one announcement I forgot to maybe lift up is related to the season is Easter's coming up and Palm Sundays and Matthew Moquin Lee is our worship arts director and Terry uh, with Philippus uh, are working together to plan a great uh, week of festivities from Palm Sunday uh, with brass musician and uh, uh, Easter Sunday with uh, Easter flowers that can be ordered. Watch an announcement for that. And then also in between, uh, Pastor Linter and Tyler here is planning uh, Monday, Thursday and a Good Friday service at 7 o'clock in person at Philippus Church. 
uh, to be light up by then, so uh, maybe a little more comfortable to go down uh, to that neighborhood. Uh, but uh, it, 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 we look forward to uh, that. So mark your calendars and plan for that. Right now, Tyler and I are going for a run. He's making me go. I got my knee braces on, and we'll see how long I last. So go in peace and share the love of God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.